Hey, Beach. Yeah. I don't want to alarm you. Yeah. But I think we had a baby. I mean, we got a cat first, so at least we're responsible. It's nice to have that run through. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll we'll have to do something about that kid, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if we can afford to have more kids. Or adults. I don't make enough money. Not in today's yeah. economy. Not in today's this economy. Is yeah. Morning in Barkerville. We had just spent a relaxing evening and a reasonably comfortable night in the 1860s, and it was time for an amazing breakfast Jimmy had prepared for us. Guys, there's not Wi Fi in the 1800s. There's no Wi Fi. Stop it. I know, I'm just looking at screen caps of web pages I took from yesterday. Uh -huh. I'm playing Pagel. Okay. I feel like if I stare long enough at my phone, I can just will it to connect to the internet. <laughs> this is just fake Twitter. Oh, I this see. This is a good lock screen. Well, fellas, how's it going there? I just came back from the post office. You know, they got a telegram for you, if you can believe it all. For they us. They said, deliver it to the bunch of fellas that are staying at the St. George Hotel. So, I brought it with me. This is a telegram from a fella named Graham. Oh, uh, uh, what did he Today is a long one. Stop. You have to make your way from here to Smithers, but on the way, now that you know everything there is to know about, well, eh, sorry, I've got to laugh at this. Now that you know everything there is to know about gold rushes, <laughs> uh, you need to prepare for the rest of your trip north. Stop. So you're going to stop in Fort George. Well, I'm pretty sure in your time they called Fort George Prince George. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see a princess as well. It, it says, Go to Fort George and visit Princess Otto. Yes! <laughs> yes, all right. Is she German? <laughs> well, uh, yes, well, you could be right about that. Princess Otto, yes, all right, I got that. Uh, uh, to lay in provisions for the rest of the trip to Dawson, stop. But don't stop, get going. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, hit the road. I guess yeah. Beach is the happiest person on earth right I now. I am so pleased. I'm actually kind of excited to go to Princess Auto for the first time and figure out why you love this With Beach, yeah. yeah. It's like his Disneyland. Yeah, it really is. Are you looking forward to the car trip where he explains that first? That's the next three hours of your life. <laughs> mm -hmm. I forgot about that part. <laughs> After all of this, I kind of just want to stay here. <laughs> to save Ben from what we had learned was a debilitating allergy to horses, we packed our way back down Main Street on foot and began loading the cars. Princess Otto was certainly my immediate goal, but James had to take a moment to commemorate our travels. We all got a nice little bumper sticker here for uh, Beach and Adam's car. Uh, let's get this on here. I fear putting it on Ian's car because I think he'd yell at me. You know, I, I opened the doors this morning, got inside, I'm like, at some point a cop is going to like pull us over or something and lean inside the vehicle and just like be like, oh, I'm hauling your ass to jail. <laughs> you guys have been drinking all night. I can smell it. Oh, I guess it's a bourbon. <laughs> I was like, have we been drinking all night? At what point are we going to drink all night, dude? right? Yeah. We're getting ready to leave Barkerville. Yeah, that was a... It was an experience. I don't. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. Like no. it was. It was. It was so cool. I never would have done that on my own. Is it day three or day four? Day four today. It's day four today. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what day of the week it is. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna look it up. It was day four, but in the Sunfire, I had also become unstuck in time. Here we go, day eight. Really? Is that not what day we're on? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah. Barkerville was awesome. Yeah, I mean, Barkerville was fantastic. It was just a really fun experience to yeah. go in there and, and see what it's all about. That is something that I never thought that I would do, is like stay overnight 
in a historical park. Yeah. That was a hell of a breakfast, though. That was a great breakfast. Yeah, I feel energized. By that, I mean I'm not as likely to fall asleep in the car. Goodbye, Barkersville. Hello, Smithers. In like six or seven hours. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, wait, we're already there? Yeah. We made it. Oh, we did God. it. Time just has no meaning anymore. Road trips are such a trap, though. It's like you drive and you drive and you drive. And driving is the worst part about a road trip because what's awesome is you're driving to cool places. So what you're saying is driving with me is a chore. No. Uh, <laughs> a little. Oh, good. I assume it's the same with me. No, man. I'm enjoying every minute with you. Damn it. All right, well. Now you're the asshole. I am the asshole. Not only was I enjoying my company, I had finally come to a conclusion about my car. So I had a dream last night, Alex, mm -hmm. and I think I've been inspired to give a name to our vehicle. Oh yeah. I'm thinking we are riding in Sabine. Sabine. Yep. We're gonna call it Sabine because, well, I mean, the first reason should be pretty obvious, Saab Sabine. But the second reason is because I used to be a fan of a series of books, the first one titled Griffin and Sabine. Okay. And if you'll note the center of the logo, of the sob. I'm going to assume that's a griffin head. That's a griffin wearing a crown. Yeah. All right, Sabine it is. The Crown Vic, on the other hand, had now developed a weird, weird noise, but it wasn't mechanical this time. Is that the, the family stickers? Yeah. Yeah, that's family <laughs> sticker making that noise. All right. The my family sticker is not doing so hot. Oh, no. On oh, the back of Beej's and Adam's car. It's gonna come off. The My Family sticker is starting to peel off on the back due to the wind. Yeah, it's uh, poor quality. But how are people gonna know that that's your family? I guess people will just think it's our list of victims. <laughs> Holy sh**. Oh. Barkerville had been great, but I felt like the BC interior wasn't living up to all of its promises. Still haven't seen an animal. We did see that black thing on the Oh, we the saw road. the bear. That was, that was a bear that we were told was a bear. Yeah. yeah. Could be anything. Mm -hmm. Could have been a guy in a bear suit. Yep. But just then, fox. Whoa, fox. Holy sh! Look at that. Whoa, that fox was so cute. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, sorry, it's right there. I saw a fox. Yeah, we saw a fox. I'm so excited. Yeah. Man, just when I was complaining about, no, we never see no animals. Yeah. It's just a fox sitting there. And then God was like, us. picked up the fox and placed it down on the side of the road. Yeah. Here you go. And so we left Barkerville, back down the Caribou Wagon Road, and with more gold in our pockets than the average prospector. Soon we were talking about our cars again, and Adam explained why the Crown Vic didn't need to get up to its top speed in an instant. Cops aren't chasing like Corvettes and like Lamborghinis. Like, yeah. They're chasing like Ford F 150s and like <laughs> yeah, exactly. regular people cars. So. If you needed a real like pursuit vehicle to chase like supercars, that's why some, you know, like in, in foreign countries, why you always see like the Lamborghini that has like the Polizia on the side of it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta flex on people. Yeah. Age. That's just the way of the world. Every once in a while, you gotta show that you can't be pushed around. Yeah. Which is what we're gonna do to Ian one day. I wasn't as confident. I'm worried about uh, doing a drag race though because uh, I think Ian's car is lighter. Yeah. And I think power to weight, he probably outruns this thing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Ian, Ian definitely has the fastest car. Yeah. I think we have the strongest. And like, I don't think we stand a chance because Ian is manual. Oh yeah, he's, he's just, just going to be able to accelerate way faster. Just is going to be able to be in the right spot where he needs to be. Yeah. And we were eventually in the place we needed to be to communicate with the other cars. Oh, you know what? I'm on the wrong. I'm not even on the right channel. Test, test. Uh, excuse me. This is a uh, Forest Ranger channel. If you could please switch off, it, that'd be great. First of all, Canada doesn't have Forest Rangers. We have Park Rangers. <laughs> We're a uh, special division that was sent out. Never seen Super Troopers, little boy. <laughs> We're cops, of course we've seen Super Troopers. Son, I've been forest rangering for like eight years. You ain't no cops I've ever seen. Oh, we're from Utica. <laughs> it's a regional law enforcement. Uh, I'm from uh, Albany myself. It took us four days to get to that joke. There we go, we've successfully dated RoadQuest. If only we could successfully date this day. Anyway, I had asked earlier, when, before we realized we were on the wrong channel, 
that we didn't know what day of the week it was, but Beach has informed me it's Friday, and he thought it was Thursday. Days have no meaning here. That explains why Barker fell still in the 1800s. They've been trapped by some sort of time wizard. Looks like we gotta go break the spell, gang. <laughs> Let's split up and look for clues. Nope, nope. <clears throat> Whoa, what the f***? Jesus. Whoa. Ian, what the f***? Okay. Ian, are you okay? You told us to split up, so I was just gonna uh, take the next uh, every right. As punishment for his high spirits, we sent Ian to the back of the line and kept heading towards the highway. Assuming my math and memory is correct, which almost certainly they are not, uh, we have now traveled 1,000 kilometers on this trip. How does everybody feel about that? Rad. Woo, spring break! I mean, me and Beach have been on long, longer trips. <laughs> ben was clearly overjoyed. Didn't you say just like, less than 20 minutes ago that you were feeling really good yeah. after breakfast and that you weren't going to fall asleep in the car. Yeah, that was like a whole 20 minutes. You realize that we're not even like a sixth of the way done from today's driving. Yeah. Okay. That's why I got to make sure I'm charging myself for the whole way. Right. At least Ben wasn't as distracting as the Crown Vic. I really want that My Family sticker to fly off. I don't think it's going to fly off for the entirety of this trip. Well, if it doesn't fly off, by the end of today, I'm going to fix it so I don't have to continually be distracted by the flappiness of it. I just don't even look at it. That's very hard to do because that's literally the direction I'm supposed to look. It is, ooh, that one looked like it was gonna go. Um, I think it'll stay. I think it's gonna make it to Princess Auto at least. It didn't. James got back in front so he wouldn't have to look at us anymore. But the downside to keeping your eyes on the road is that you miss other things, like large, charismatic wildlife. Whoa, moose! Moose! moose. moose. There we go! Moose. moose! Moose! Moose, we saw moose. There was moose to the right. We have seen moose this trip. What? There's a moose? What? F I feel bad for Beach because he's like missing all these animals and he's like, I'll watch it on the footage later. And that's the saddest sentence ever. Especially since we barely even got footage of this mythical creature. At least Ben had seen some wildlife. Of course. <laughs> You're a dick. Uh, James started rolling the windows down as soon as we passed by the horse. Okay, that's mean. Can I come ride in one of your guys' cars? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, this is a cop car, not a forest ranger car. <laughs> Finally, we found our way out of the mountains and back on the highway. We're once again making north going progress. Mm -hmm. So heading off to Princess Auto. In the distance, there's a golden beam of light that illuminates whenever Princess Auto here is beach is coming. Oh, hey. That's a sign uh, telling us where we're going, which is Prince George. Hey! On the 97 North Highway in the British Columbia Highway System. Speaking of the British Columbia Highway System, this is the least interesting part of it. So conversations got weird. I just asked Beach how anime seasons differ from show to show and oh boy. I hope this has been a culturally enriching trip. I learned all about Evangelion. Yeah, you did. Dude, it's 20 years on and I'm still learning about Evangelion. You do not know everything about Evangelion. That's what Beach said. Ben was confused about Princess Otto. I just, I don't understand why he likes the store so much. Have you been there before? Isn't it just like a meh it's Canadian a, tire? Is, yeah, so that's almost exactly how I would <laughs> describe it. It is a meh Canadian tire, but what it has that Canadian Tire doesn't have is um, a lot of really weird sh I wonder if we just buy a new car. <laughs> I don't think the budget's gonna allow for that. And also you just hurt Gandalf's feeling. No, 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 we keep Gandalf, we just have another <laughs> car. I would never even dream of getting rid of Gandalf. I can't believe you insinuate that. I apologize. And with that thought in mind, Ben christened Gandalf with cheese dust. Cheetos. Those are cheesies. Cheaties. Those are cheesies, not cheaties. Cheese snacks. There you go, that's good enough. 
Just don't get cheese dust all over the place. Paying for the detailing of this car before we left was probably not the most useful way to spend 80 bucks. So, I'm gonna tell you, uh -huh. I got a gun plot. What? The hell? I thought we were supposed to keep the driver from being distracted. <laughs> Oops. What is it? What is it? Uh, it's a build burning Gundam. Oh, good, good. This That's, that's not from a series I care about. <laughs> I had been learning maybe too much about Beach. What's the latest Beach fact? Beach had a relative named Napoleon who his entire family called Paul. That makes sense. That's what I would call him. Calling somebody Napoleon all the time just seems a little too ritzy for the Deary family. <laughs> we're, we're not high grade stock apparently, <laughs> as far as the Ulmers are concerned. The, the Ulmers don't think the Deary's are good breeding stock. The Ulmer family tree is all over the place because everybody gets married and then divorced and then married again. And some get divorced and remarried again. So we kind of are just like some sort of weird pandemic that is spreading throughout the world. It's more like a family hedge. Okay, that's step two done. <laughs> As we got closer to Prince George, I was getting more nervous about my friend. Hey Adam, how terrifying is it that Beach talks quite so much with his hands while he's driving? It's freaking me the hell out behind here. I don't know, man. Probably just fate if we die, so I'm just, I'm just enjoying the ride while we can. Hands on the f***ing wheel, dearie. Listen, if you have a f***ing problem with... <laughs> Holy s***. <laughs> Step four complete. In the Crown Vic, I had to know. Uh, Beach. Yeah? When we were uh, getting our instructions... Yeah. This morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, we have to go to Smithers, but you got really excited. Like, really excited? Yes, I've never did. seen you yes. so excited. Yes, it did. When that man mentioned Princess Auto. <laughs> yes, it and did. And I don't understand why, because it's an auto store. Princess Auto is the happiest place on earth, and it's <laughs> not an auto store. It's They don't sell auto parts. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, they kind of do. Yeah. Uh, they're a tool store. They have a big surplus section. Generally, most stores have a big surplus section. Yeah, Ammo yeah. canisters okay. and chainsaws and uh, lightning cables and TV mounts. Full of yeah. meat that's been seasoned, <laughs> and then you squeeze it like a caulking gun and it just shoots out like long, and they realize that people couldn't get like good tools. Yeah. So that well, we'll get into like getting some tools and stuff, but then they, they also have a house brand called Power Fist. <laughs> Anything you buy at Princess Auto is subject to the royal guarantee. I have come back to Princess Auto eight years on with a receipt from a machine they didn't even need. Wow. <laughs> yes? Beach really loves Princess Auto. <laughs> I think I love Princess Auto. <laughs> and with Adam finally convinced, the horizon opened up to the majesty that is Prince George. Prince George, 97 North. <laughs> Can you smell Prince Auto? I can Auto? smell the place. Yeah. yeah. Well, would you look at that? Upon arrival here in Prince George, I can safely say that this is the furthest north that I have ever been. I don't even know where we are in the grand scheme of the problems. We're uh... like, we're like south middle, right? Yeah. In fact, yes. Ever since its time as the fur trading post of Fort George, Prince George has been just south of British Columbia's center meaning the city that styles itself as BC's northern capital isn't even halfway up the province. Man, we got so far to go to the Yukon. Yeah, I would say we're close to halfway to the Yukon. Yeah. But then quite a little bit more to Dawson City. <gasps> they lost the Mai. It's what? just a family now. Oh. Hey, guys. Yep. Uh, you lost the my on my family. It's gone forever. Family. That's because uh, with this caravan, Ben, there is no possessive. We are all just family. Welcome to Prince George. That is exactly what that log man sounds like. We've arrived in beautiful downtown Prince George. And now Beach is just tailgating like crazy to get to Princess Auto. Yeah. Breaking the laws. Yep. I've seen him run at least three or four red lights. 
he's run over four or five elderly folks. There's a certain kind of tension in the car right now. Mm -hmm. Beach has like zoomed on beyond us. You can like feel how excited he is to be going here. Broken formation. Upon arrival, we were unleashed inside Princess Auto, each with a budget of $100 Canadian. So the thing you have to understand about this is that uh, I got a really good read on this store after coming in. This is a this is a New World style Princess Auto with a few of the older logos and stuff, but uh, it is a lot bigger than the one in Langford. I'm really pleased about this. Uh, I think we're gonna find some cool stuff here. No hat has ever screamed, Adam Savadan. Stay watch Jimmy Bill, Home Roland, and on TV. Thanks. I hate it. Later, while waiting for the drivers to pay for their stuff. So what did Ian end up really grabbing for you? I don't know. Hopefully not anything that makes it go any faster. Is that like, is that something you sort of learned about him? Did you know he was all about cars and all that jazz before? Uh, not so much. I th he hasn't copped to it yet, but I'm pretty sure he's watched a lot more Initial D than I thought. <laughs> Adam? Yeah? What'd you learn about Beach so far? Uh, lots of stuff. <laughs> Yeah? Oh boy, can't wait till he sees that. I learned Beach really likes Princess Auto. Like, really likes Princess yeah, Auto. Yeah, yeah. Like, I started liking Princess Auto when Beach was going off about Princess Auto. I feel like every time you talk about something that you've experienced with Beach during this trip, yeah. it's because Beach likes it and now you like it. Yeah. And I feel like maybe there's some sort of Stockholm sort of situation going on. So if you ever need to get out, yeah. And just let us know. Well, I mean, by the end of the trip, I'm just going to be wearing, like, some brightly colored polo shirt. <laughs> and some shorts. shorts. Yeah. With high socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrap around shades. Yeah. yeah. Talking about anime. Yeah. yeah. I had a small issue. Maybe the trunk won't open. But only maybe. Yeah, definitely not. And I just had it open. Like, it just worked two seconds ago because I threw some stuff in here. Do you have a trunk release on the inside? I haven't seen one yet. Should have one. Whoa, okay, let's go. I got the touch. Gandalf only listens to me. It's because earlier you said you wanted to get another car. <laughs> he was listening to you. With our purchases secured, it was back on the road. However, Prince George has highway exits at the four cardinal directions, but because the north exit from town quickly veers east, the only way to head north from PG is to first head west. Really? What? Why am I in the back seat? Because Hootie takes precedence. Now, what did we actually buy at Princess Auto? Who, for the record, in no way sponsored this show or even knew we were inside. My trip to Princess Auto, I think it went pretty well. The sort of motif I was going for was protection. Uh, we're heading up into Northern BC where I assume the predators become plentiful. So my goal was to buy things that can scare them off or maybe even possibly trap them. Is that what these mouse traps are for then? Bear traps. I don't think that this will stop a bear. Eh, it's gonna do better than nothing, right? Okay, what about the Canada flag? Uh, well, one, it's good to take pride in your country. And two, uh, blood scares off other animals. There's no blood on the flag. Yeah, it's red, it's the color red though, right? Okay, and Hootie? Hootie scares apex predators. I sincerely hope that the other cars got something a little bit more useful. I doubt it. I think we did. James and Ben think they're stupid owls, so cool. Yeah, and I know that, that Ian and Alex are like really reveling in how good their stuff is. Yeah. I think we kind of got it all beat this time though, because I, I went practical. I have a lot of questions, Yeah. Beach. Well, that's fine. Well, first of all, I understand. Uh, Beach bought a hat. Yeah. To show how much he loves Princess Auto. Absolutely, I did. So, we're gonna give you that. Thank you very much. Beach. Uh-huh. Why did you buy a nostalgic tin thermometer? Because it's cold in the Yukon, and I wanted to know whether or not I, it's, it's a good time to go outside, or whether to do what the, what the thermometer says, which is stay watch Jimmy Bill. Bill, home Roland and on TV. Yes. But you do realize that we can look up weather on our phones, right? Yeah, I just, you know, I like the immediacy of tools. Ah, uh, okay. We got an OBD, uh, II or OBD2? Two. Two. 
you plug that into the diagnostic connector, run the vehicle, and what it will do is it will read the codes the computer's giving off, mm -hmm. and every car has one of these. Oh. Uh, so this is actual, not a joke, it's practical. The only time that Beach will ever be serious about like, hey, buy whatever you want, is when he goes to Princess Auto. <laughs> And he buys actual boring dad adult stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, if I don't need it, I'll just take it back. Well, I made one purchase. Oh, did you? I didn't even see. Yeah, just look on the front of the car there. What the? Yeah. You like it? Does it come off? I don't know. I hope so. Well, then I like it. Okay. <laughs> I heard it makes the car 10% faster. Well, it feels faster. Yeah, it's good. Took me a whole 30 seconds to put it on. I'm just glad you got it straight. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's a little off center. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the image itself is not well balanced, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just really glad that you didn't opt to put that on the rear window and just obstruct my view completely. I was thinking about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I came close. Thank you for not. All in all, very responsible purchases from Beach. And then I bought a Decal. Yeah. It was time to see what Sabine had acquired. So how was your trip at Princess Auto? Oh, it wasn't too bad. I got a couple of things. Would you like to see what they are? Please. Well, I picked up this. Okay. You smoked oysters? No, it's um survival kit in a can. Oh, that could be handy. What do you got in there? Uh, multifunction survival tool, sewing needle, signal whistle, survival, first aid, information pamphlet, pencil, note paper, three inch reflective cord, compass, two fire starter cubes, multi use cord, multi use wire, four waterproof matches, fishing line, sewing thread, matchbook, three twist ties, duct tape, signal mirror, resealable bag, two nails, two safety pins, two fish hooks, razor blade, and tea light. Wow. Also the tin. I also figured we might want to, like, cook and eat some stuff that we find. Okay. But, uh, weight is an issue when you're yeah. traveling I mean, up north. I also approve of low weight just to keep the car moving properly. And I figured in true Yukon style, we would go with good old-fashioned, reliable cast iron. Of course. Yeah. The so king of materials. I got a pan. That is we. We'd, like, just put it... Put a tin can in that, like to set it on top of a yeah something. Yeah, we could probably cook a finger in that. I'm a little confused about this. Yes, that is a boot scrubber, so you can wipe your boots off before getting into Sabine, you animals. I want to keep this car clean. I'm She's right beautiful. here. Okay, it's, it hasn't been a problem up till now, but we've been. Uh, now we're going farther north and things are getting more dirty and I figure we're gonna need it. That's just for me, because I want my fingernails clean. I have not had clean fingernails when going to bed for the last three days. I had to know how Adam's Princess Auto experience had been. What did you think of that place? It was okay. The surplus section was, was it like... I guess I didn't expect it to be that tacky. There was a lot of stuff that was almost kind of like it was the rejected as seen on TV section. Yep. It didn't quite make it. Yep. But they had to put it somewhere, so they sent it to Princess Auto. Yep. Meanwhile, in the Sunfire, I was getting to know my new co pilot. So, Hootie, any relationship to the and the Blowfish family? Yeah, I've heard of them, but, you know, I've never met anybody, you know, personally. So, it's pretty cool that. What was that second cousin twice removed? Fascinating. Yeah? <laughs> you happy? I'm having a great time. All right. Ho fine. Hootie is just a fantastic conversationalist. He doesn't talk back. Yeah, try doing a uh, car talk with uh, you two. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. No, I wasn't. Hey, everybody, welcome back to your favorite show. It's Car Talk with James and Hootie. I'm James. Yeah, that's right, Hootie. It's good to, uh, good to have you here on the show. What would you like to talk about today? I know that. With the invited guests, we always like to make sure that they feel welcome, warm, comfortable, and that they're talking about something that they're really passionate about. So take it away. Sometimes I think that other people should get respected for the work that they do. Uh, anyways, that's been uh, Car Talk with James and Hootie. After Car Talk, Hootie needed a rest. So Ben got back up front and attached my flag to the car. It was a mistake. Oh my God, that can't stay there. What? <laughs> that flag. So, 
We discovered a problem with the flag. <laughs> it's so loud. Such a shame. Patriotism has a price, Benjamin. The, the flag might have been a mistake. What? It's very loud. It's very loud. Like I can hear it waving in the wind and it's just like, that's not. Do you think I can grab it while we're moving? Nope, I would definitely not try. As the rain began to fall, the flag only made our lives worse. It sounds like we're just like in a really bad rainstorm. Well, we haven't really tested this thing out in the, uh, in the rain yet. We should pull the top down. We should not. I don't know, I think it could be kind of fun. No. Not at all. Well, I wanted to experience even more of the rain. We should pull out at a rest stop and run around in the rain. We should pull out at a rest stop and watch Ben run around in the rain. So, we did. Am I the only adult who brought an umbrella? Yeah. Come on, man, it was on the list. <laughs> What I, list? I got one, but I don't want to get in my bag Wait, for there it. was a list? Yeah. Yeah. Where? Uh, I don't so know. Search sent it to us. It. It's like, here you are all the things. You list. Here are all the things you should sure, bring. You never sent me a list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look wow. Now you have to pretend Serge isn't here. I'm the Deadpool of this road trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to break the fourth wall. <laughs> hey, Beach. What's up? Beach, come here. I made your car pretty. Oh, no, you didn't. Did you run into it? <laughs> No, you, you bought that for me. Oh, I bought the sticker for That's you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. At some point, I will run into your car, though. That's fine. Try to run into the like sticker, stickers. though. It'll be really good. <laughs> just, just stamp it into the back of my bumper. Yeah, exactly. That's we know your plan. car likes stickers. So. Also, who's the fan of the uh, Applewood smoked pulled pork? I'm uh, pretty sure Alex is the one with the dry erase markers, so I think he's the one who wants more. I'm impressed that that stayed on through the whole rain that we've been driving through. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, like... <laughs> I thought they were dry erase markers. Yeah, like, shouldn't this have all come off my hood by now? What if they're not dry erase markers? Well, let's find out. Well, okay, I think they are. <laughs> it's definitely right. dry erase. Yeah, okay. it's dry erase. Good, it good. just obviously requires a little bit more finesse. I like your lashes, though. You got real nice lashes. I got some, well, I mean, these are kind of not great. Uh, those are much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel yeah. like he did those and then just kind of called she's in this blushing. version. Like, she's smiling and blushing. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Why are these two babies in their car? I don't know. Why don't you come join the fun? want to be dry, I guess. I'm cold, but I'm not wet. And I'm, that's because I'm, I'm the adult with wet. the umbrella. Or I could go like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sabine is a no button, a no mud zone, so Alex is trapped in here. Oh. Uh, you have, aw, oh, but. Wow, Alex, what's it like having a boring dad? <laughs> <laughs> this is a refuge, you want, a sanctuary, you if you will, it? of cleanliness you you? and civility. You good? What? I didn't. Ah! <laughs> can clean those. Gotta clean those lenses. <laughs> Can't get back in fast enough. <laughs> Once again ensconced in my cocoon of civility and back on the road, Alex and I contented ourselves with some rainy day activities. Say no. Ping pong. Whoa, hey. Nice. As we passed by one of the region's many lumber yards, Ben decided to start something he couldn't finish. Would you look at all of that? What, all that rain? Look at all that what? Would you look at all that? Beach and I are just gonna drive off the road now. Mm. All right, one down. So what you're saying is, is you're trying to make this group splinter. I just think it's time that we branch off and see other people. Well, I guess we'll lumber off on our own then. Don't let the door hit you when you leave. I'd rather not. Sh uh, sh shiver me timbers. I, well... That reference was a little against the grain. Guys, I'm pining for a few more of those puns. Just make sure you log off when you're done. Are you getting sick of us needling you? It is chipping away at us. Mm, and we're getting bored. Oh, stop being such a birch. Look, we've altered the deal. Pray we do not alter it further. I'm really impressed at how the rain is sprucing up our vehicles. I don't know, that pun was only okay. Oh. Someone needs to stop us right now. Oh uh, yeah, we're getting stumped. I'm gonna stick a limb out and say that uh, we're running out of some. Leave a few for us. We already did a leaf one. Alex's team loses. 
this was a team thing and a competition? Life is a competition, Alex. I've run out of puns, which may please you to hear. Jesus Christ. I want to switch teams. <laughs> After I enforced some voluntary radio silence, our refusal to lower our flag was definitely making us even more damp. We're good. Holy shit. God, my God, it's so much nicer. <laughs> it's so nice and quiet in here. It was so loud. Now that nothing was blocking the window, Ben started distracting the other drivers. Adam. Yeah? Did you see Hootie saying hi to you? I can't quite make it out. Oh, there he is. That's creepy. Hi, Adam. Sure is nice to be sharing a road trip with you. I mean, it's definitely the smartest person in that car. <laughs> Look, another lake. <gasps> that's, a good, that's a good looking lake. You're a good looking lake. Hell yeah. I'm a cool glass of water. <laughs> the whole convoy was definitely starting to show some cracks, and our destination was still a long way away. How sick of each other do you think we're going to be by the end of this thing? By the end of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> And the further we went, the more amazed I was at just how much ground we'd covered and how it had taken us so much time, even in cars. That's the ridiculous thing, right? Is that we're following basically the same route that, you know, people took in the late 1800s and early 1900s during the gold rush yeah. on horses. At least we were making steady progress. 183 kilometers left to go until we reach Smithers. It's too far. I give up. You're just sitting there. You don't do anything. Me sitting here, though, with you is exhausting. <laughs> I've been told that. <laughs> I was getting so stir-crazy, I was saying things I'd never think to say otherwise. When do we get to go back to Princess Auto? We've lost it, boys. <laughs> he belongs to the beach now. <laughs> <laughs> I was presented with another glimmer of hope, even if my co-pilot wasn't on my side. <gasps> Caution, Moose, next six kilometers. Here we go. Come this on. is it. Come on, Moosey, Moosey, Moosey. Let us get hit by a Moose. Well, okay, no. That... Hit us, Moose. No, please, no Moose. Deliverance no. from everything. Stop listening to him. Bring down your antlers upon the Pontiac. No. And in Sabine, Alex was realizing that I am also not above an obvious joke. Hey, where are we right now? Burns Lake. Really? Yeah. Just to confirm, we are going to Smithers, right? Yes. Excellent. As the kilometers kept falling away, passing through majestic valleys as we moved further northwest, the road trip conversations meandered, and we started sharing stories of our youth. Or in my case, guessing. Hey, James. Yes, sir. Do you want to know what Beach thought our origin story was? I thought the two you guys knew each other from like high school because you played hockey together or something like that. Nah. I, when I first met Adam, it was when uh, Bill and I went into the old video store he worked at and Adam had like blue hair and Bill just went up to the counter and like said a few words to him and Adam handed him like 40 bucks and we just left and Bill gave no explanation. I was like, did you just rob the video store? <laughs> And then later that evening, we went to a party together where he got so drunk he barfed all over our friend's girlfriend's van. I'm trying to remember when I met you, Adam. I don't really remember because you're pretty nondescript. Oh, f <laughs> Okay, you know what? Now this is happening. You know when you go to the liquor store and you buy like a bottle of something and there's like a little smaller bottle attached to it that you get for free? That was you and the big bottle was James. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm like the barnacle to James's cruise ship. Oh my good Christ! Anyway, Alex, yeah, sorry. I actually, I 100% don't remember the first time I met you. I'm fairly certain it was when you were living with uh, James. Most people, when they meet me for the first time, think I'm a big asshole. Not gonna lie, I think I got that impression because you had that sort of vibe, and it's like, oh wait, no, he's actually really nice. It had been a while since we tricked Alex into thinking about something, so... Hey, do you guys remember Santa Claus's postal code? H-O-H-O-H-O. -O -O. Yeah. Okay. Was that all? 
Yes. Yeah, that was it. As I said earlier, it was day four, but I still didn't have that placed in time. It took me a little longer than it normally would to realize it was Friday. Today, yeah. Yeah. Because it means nothing. It means in six days, right, we we drive into Dawson City. Right. Which seems like an eternity from now. I am legitimately excited about getting up to Dawson City where there's just straight up 23 hours of light. Yeah. And, and it's not like we get an hour of darkness. You get an we hour get, of twilight. We get like an hour of civil twilight is yeah. what they call it. Yeah, um, where all the vampires come out to smooch. <laughs> yeah. As we moved further from the cities, some of the billboards got kind of preachy. Just remember, guys, Jesus cares for you. I'm still terrified of that one sign that said prepare for God. Yeah, that sounded like a thinly veiled threat. It was really starting to dawn on us just how big British Columbia actually is. The landscape has changed again. Yeah, it's feeling more northern. It That's feels plains. I mean, it's a it's a lot more grassy, yeah, more vivid than northern Saskatchewan. But it look it reminds me of northern Saskatchewan. Wow, this road's gorgeous. Ben's gonna be like, "You're gorgeous." You're gorgeous. <laughs> Got him. Adam may think I'm predictable, but in the Sunfire, the road was really taking its toll on James. If water is falling on me, it's raining. <laughs> Full stop. Ben, what about showers? Well, it's a good thing that you asked me about that, James. <laughs> you running out of energy or what? Uh... Can't play with me, Turner? No, I didn't even... Dad's I, tired. I just, like, completely... Just faced, like, did not listen to that. Yeah, no, I just did, I just completely tuned you out. Not, like, made me tune yeah, you out. No. My, <laughs> my attention just... <laughs> Conversely, in the Crown Vic, the boredom was doing wonders for our creativity. Man, we just thought of a really great bit where Beach tells me the same story every day. No, that's just being friends with Beach. <laughs> Damn. Over in the Sunfire, I'd snap back to wakefulness, but there was a question I couldn't get out of my head. Hey, do you guys believe in dinosaurs? I what do you mean, do I believe in dinosaurs? I think it's a pretty straightforward question. I don't believe in dinosaurs. I know they exist. Well, do you have proof? Have you seen one on this trip so far? Because I've been looking for the last, like, 1,000 kilometers, and I have yet to see a proper dinosaur. Who promised you dinosaurs? Uh, Adam. What the f***? <laughs> okay, James, I'm really sorry that you had to find out like this, but the dinosaurs have been dead for a very, very long time. You can't get me with that. It's like the old, oh, Adam's been dead for 40 years joke, please. This is God's country, the dinosaurs don't exist. <laughs> We could do with a straight face. Beege was a bad influence on my friend. Uh, I'm gonna need Adam to stay in my room tonight so I can put him some sort of rehabilitation. <laughs> You're just gonna play like <laughs> a bunch of sports games and stuff, like yeah, NHL 2K16 all night long, buddy. I thought you liked me. Yet further along, I remembered another fun Princess Auto fact. You know they sell potato chips at Princess Auto and I have never ever tried to return a bag, but I'm really tempted. <laughs> How much would you eat before you would feel comfortable returning it? Probably about half. <laughs> Just one time, you've gotta try it. Beach doesn't want to risk getting banned. That would be hell for Beach. Just banned from Princess Auto. It's just like, why even live? <laughs> It seemed like around every corner was a new, amazing view. This is cool. Holy shit. Finally, I get a good view. Yeah. You can see this, right? One long, unbroken line into the distance. Yeah. That's so neat. The view was wonderful, but I couldn't just let certain things stand. We still haven't addressed the fact that James believes in dinosaurs. Like, contemporary dinosaurs. If dinosaurs are, are not real now, how do you explain whales? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense! <laughs> Is there a fuel leak in that car or something? That made me laugh so hard I'm yeah. getting 
fucking spots in my eyes. I have to slow down. <laughs> As the convoy slowed to let James recover, the sheer enormity of the scenery hit me once again. But that's still fucking gorgeous. Whoa. Where the sun's coming through the clouds, it's fucking lit. This country is so big. I know. It's so big. After seeing another fox, but still no moose, it was our turn to marvel at beautiful BC. It is ridiculously green. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, just, I'm still like flabbergasted by how like green and like lush the areas are. And then we marveled at sausages. I Rudolph's think... pure sausage? Who wants Rudolph's pure sausage? Jesus. But we were so close, thank goodness. Smithers, you can't come soon enough. It's been a long day of driving. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just about done. Yes, we are. We're, <laughs> we're like nine minutes out. <laughs> good. Yeah. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's been a good long day. Yeah. We've made real progress. Alex is crushing a can on his head. I need to sleep. It's been a good day though, right? Yes. I think we got to learn a lot about our friends. Learned a little bit about ourselves. Yeah. We have all gone a little bit loopy in the last few hours. I mean, we got to drive through some like really cool looking country. And to come clean, I have a bit of a headache around the back of my head right now because of all the laughing I've been doing and the fact that I'm probably a little hypoglycemic. <laughs> We've traveled like well over 500 kilometers today, which is half of what we did in the first three days. <laughs> so we spent the first three days just dicking around. Just yeah, feeling really good about progress today. I feel like we we've pushed well 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 north. I am now officially the furthest north I have ever been. Welcome to Smithers. At long last we'd arrived. And while the others unloaded and cleaned up, I grabbed Beach and took the opportunity to make a modification to Sabine. When I was at Princess Auto, in addition to some brushes to keep myself and the inside of Sabine clean, I also thought it might be a good time to upgrade her horn, because uh, we're going to run into some rather large wildlife as we continue north, and what better than an auga horn. So uh, Beach has probably located the front of the horns. I think it's behind this little clip here. Yup. <laughs> oh, the sweets. Yes. One thing I do notice yeah. is those are like, they're shaped like squirrel cages. Right. Right. That's, if you're going to take those out and replace it with that, that's going to block a lot of your rats. It's not going to block it. It's just going to, the, the, the air is going to go around it. Right. That is how air works. It yeah. just goes around things that, that are right in front of it. <laughs> so I'm with you on this. It's aerodynamic. Jesus. Is, well, I was going to ask if you needed extra oh, packaging a, or something. That's a good, so, hey. It comes with uh, its own clips. Oh. That's you wanna... gonna be very, and its own nut. Do you just wanna run this beside that? Uh, I don't know if you can. I don't know, I might need to mount it somewhere. Vintage antique sound, Ooga Ooga. This product is known to the state of California to cause chemicals that cause cancer, birth defects, and or reproductive harm. Oh good. So I hope you weren't planning on reproducing. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know if I feel good about testing this, like next to the hotel at 9 p.m. So let's just use that to pry that out there. Oh, yeah, that just pops right out. I guess it needs to come all the way out before it's gonna... There we go. Yay. That's very easy. I have a tiny hacksaw. <laughs> that will not help. I have a tiny coping saw. And if nothing, I mean, we're coping, aren't we? Yeah, we're coping. How can we get those in there? We just shove them in and hope it makes contact? So you could probably wire this into wherever the lead starts from. I could. And the negative that. is black, usually. tomorrow and hears that and has a fit. Oh, oh, when I pull directly up behind James. And, <laughs> and finally, it was time for bed. It's a nice big room. Too bad they only booked one. Yeah. Shotgun this bed with Hootie. 
If I sit like this, I'll pass out before the smell hits me. All right, Ben, you and I right here. Okay, I'll sleep in the bathtub. Fridge. How do you sleep in a fridge? Ask Daredevil's girlfriend. Holy moly! What the f? <laughs> 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 oh, wow. What do you suppose the bread and butter of a hazardous waste? Pull over, it might be not What do you suppose the... Yeah, like, it kind of feels like it looks like it's... Getting back to your question about the, uh, the bread and butter of said waste. Yeah, so what, like, what's your, what's your Monday job? Hey, oh. look, a chevron. What do you suppose the bread and butter work of hazardous materials teams is? I actually have a, not necessarily informed, but a good guess on it. Oh, for f sake, hang on. What do you suppose the bread and butter work of a hazardous materials removal business is? No, I don't know. Would you look at all that? Oh, ah!